Good morning, everyone. How are you doing? I don't know. So, this is, what is it? The Comfy. One size fits all. And it's seen on Shark Tank. So this is some product you can buy that looks like that. It's supposed to be, well, it's certainly not fashionable. It's supposed to be comfortable, hence the name. Blanket Sweatshirt, the original. It's also a floor wax. So, one image on the flip side of the box showed a pink and gray comfy being worn by that dame and this guy. Oops. Aren't they cute? Well, the folds in the fabric became faces for fish. Let me find one that isn't. So here's a head of a fish. Needs, here's another head of a fish. And another one. This guy left his dentures at home. So I've made a pink fish and a gray fish. Here's Mr. Gray. And here's Ms. Pink. Or Mr. Pink and Ms. Gray. I don't believe in this color business. I would, though gray is my color and my mood, I wouldn't be afraid of wearing pink. So let's pretend that these two mated. How do they do that? Do they back into each other? Well, this video isn't made for children, but I think adults don't need to see that unless they subscribe to my ch other channel for $33 a month. Um, anyway, so let's pretend they mated and they, their offspring, of course, would be a mixture of pink and gray. And this one's all screwed up. It has a dorsal, you know, counterbalancey thing going on here. And the shade of lipstick was quite garish. So here was a, a section where the, the picture showed the pink and the gray actually touching because they were being, they were sitting next to each other. And as you see here, there's another section where they're next to each other. So I'm now working on trying to figure out how the rest of these little bits and pieces will make two more or three more fish, four more fish. Because look at all these faces I've got to figure out. Of course, these could be cannibal fish, and this is what's left over. That could happen. So this looks like this, I mean, I can see another face in this one easily enough, but I don't, I've got enough faces. Oh, here's another face with a little pink tongue sticking out. So I need to find, I need, I don't have very much left to make bodies and fins, but there's nothing, there's no rule to say that I, I can't have fins made of the white part of the box. But I, I don't want to do that. I want to see if I can 
make the rest of it work. Sorry, I'm just looking at the other side of the box to see what I could see. Um, this might be part of a fin. These are all rather tiny these days. And yeah, oh, look at that. That's a tail already. Um, we're having a show here. God damn it. We're having a show in the gallery next month. And the show is meant to be uh, small pieces. And um, so I've been I've been thinking small. So, for example, these three Larry Mullen Curly or whatever these are from a Coleman lantern box, and I've made some other ones already out of this box, but. I think that having a, a display of lots of little tiny school of fish that maybe would be the size of that painting over there, but contain 30 fish would be kind of fun. So that means they'll be small. Oh, I'm seeing here's part of the Coleman. No, this is part of a heating box. And another little small one here. This is from the Blue Moon box. There's some more Blue Moon parts. And these, you know, are, will be perfect for the bodies of the fish because they almost look like scales. I've got lots of these. These could be the fins of the fish. But I haven't figured that out yet. So I'm going to go back and see if I can finish. I've got how many heads? One, two, three, four, five heads still. And I've got not very many body parts. I'm going to have to use up every little crumb here that I've got to put together. So wish me luck. Bye.